Are you tired of searching for new mattress online and just want to know what are the best ones? Well, we've got that covered in today's video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen. I am a CNET and we just have our list of the best mattresses you can buy online. We've tested well over 200 beds at this point over the course of many, many years. I've been doing this for like six years now, just testing out these beds and telling y'all which ones are the best ones. We have 10 beds to talk about in today's video, which is a lot, so I'm gonna try and go pretty quickly. This is by no means the only beds you should look at. We have tested a lot and there's so many good ones and we should have more information down below in the description to help you with your online mattress search. But these are just some of our standout picks that should help you narrow it down a little bit. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And let's just do a brief overview of the policy information you should expect if you decide to order one of these beds online. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. We're gonna throw them up on screen so you can read them. I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail. There'll be more details down below in the description. Basically, you shouldn't pay anything extra for shipping. You should get 100 nights at minimum to test out the bed at home to determine if you like it or not. You can return it and get a refund, most of the time completely free. And they should all come with at least 10 year warranties, again, often longer. More info about those policies down below in the description. And if you check out our full reviews of each of these beds, there'll be more details as well. Let's just start getting into the beds themselves now. And we're just gonna start with our best overall pick, which is the Brooklyn Bedding Signature Mattress. This bed combines just a lot of things that we're looking for in online beds. It is affordable, it is generally quite comfortable for most sleepers, and you get to pick and choose your firmness level. So I think this bed will work really well for a lot of folks out there. This is also a hybrid coil bed, which means it'll be nice and durable and supportive over the long term, even for heavier body types. It uses those coils along with various layers of foams to give it more of a neutral feel that most people should enjoy. It doesn't have a distinctive feel one way or the other, like a dense, slow to respond memory foam or an ultra responsive latex foam. Most people should enjoy it. I find it to be quite comfortable. And a lot of people in my personal life have purchased this bed and like it a lot for themselves. It also comes in three firmness options, a soft model, a medium model, and a firm model. That medium model is in fact a true medium on our firmness scale. So nice and accommodating for combination sleepers and couples. You have the soft model, which is designed to have more pressure relief for strict side sleepers. And the fur model has a bit less give for you back in stomach sleepers out there. So there's a lot to like about this mattress, especially when you consider the price point. Once you factor in discounts, you're looking at about $1,000 for a queen size Brooklyn bedding signature, which in our opinion, makes it one of the best values in online beds. Not a lot of beds have a nice accommodating feel that is also a hybrid that lets you pick and choose your firmness level at this price point. I just think a lot of people out there are really gonna like this bed and it's one that I've recommended to people that I know personally. Next up, we have our pick for the best mattress for side sleepers and it's really gonna be two beds, the Layla Original and the Layla Hybrid. The reason we chose these beds is that they are actually flippable, which means that both sides are designed to be slept on. In the past, most mattress designs were meant to be flippable and it was to extend the life of the mattress. These days, most beds are meant to only be slept on one side. Layla is one of the exceptions. So it has a soft side and a firm side. The soft side on both is gonna be around a medium soft, which is gonna provide you with a ton of pressure relief and be a really nice option for strict side sleepers. Now, if that is too soft for you, you do have the firm side and the firm side isn't as firm as you might expect. On the Layla Hybrid, we found it to be slightly firmer than a medium. And then on the all foam version, we found it to be slightly firmer than that, closer to a medium firm. Either way, I think a good number of side sleepers will be able to get by on the firm side. And then you have the more specific soft side for side sleepers. So you really get two chances to get the firmest right. In general, side sleepers are looking for softer mattresses that are at a medium or a little bit softer. On either side of either mattress, you are gonna be getting more of a light responsive memory foam feel that is a little bit different than the more traditional dense feel you find on a Tempur-Pedic mattress. You'll still sink into it and you'll still get that nice body conforming quality you expect from memory foam, but it's gonna be a little bit more responsive and maybe you won't feel quite as stuck in the mattress as some people feel on a more traditional memory foam mattress. The Layla Hybrid is my personal favorite of the two. However, it is a bit more expensive. You're looking at about $1,500 for that bed after discount. And the Layla Original is quite a bit more affordable at around $1,000. If you have the budget for it, and especially if you are heavier, I would definitely recommend getting the hybrid version. But if you're much more lightweight and you're looking to save some money, the original all foam version makes way more sense to me. Next up on the list, we have the best firm mattress, which is gonna be the Satma Classic. Now this bed does come in three different firmness options. And if you are looking for a firm bed, I would recommend looking at the luxury firm model and the firm model first. The luxury firm model is their most popular. We rated that one at around a medium firm, so a nice option for back, stomach, and combo sleepers. 
The fur model of the Sava Classic is incredibly firm. It's one of the firmest things I've ever tried out. It almost feels like you're laying on a piece of wood with a thin layer of foam on top with some coils underneath. So if that's what you're looking for, I think you'll really like it. Most people should probably stick with that luxury firm though, because I don't know that many people who want a bed as firm as the Sava Firm model. You are gonna be getting more of a traditional inner spring pillow top feel on the Sattva Classic, which makes a lot of sense given the name Sattva Classic. This bed reminds me a lot of the bed that I grew up sleeping on, only quite a bit nicer. This bed also features complimentary white glove delivery, which means the bed is gonna show up full size from a local delivery team, which is pretty cool. It means you don't have to do any of the setup process yourself, and they will usually haul away your old mattress if you want them to, which can be pretty darn convenient. After discounts, you're looking at around $1,700 for a Sattva Classic, which is a pretty solid value for a mattress that we think is noticeable a bit more luxurious, kind of a cut above some of the other bed-in-a-box mattresses that we tested. Next up, we have our pick for the best mattress for back pain, and for that we picked the Amerisleep AS2 mattress specifically, although a lot of the beds in this lineup will do a pretty solid job. This category is pretty tricky because back pain can be caused by a multitude of reasons, and if you do have severe, consistent back pain, I would recommend talking to your doctor. Maybe they'll have a more specific recommendation for you, but the AS2 mattress from Amerisleep I think is a solid option overall. We have it around a medium firm, which means it'll be a nice option for back and stomach sleepers and for combo sleepers. But the fact that it uses a top layer of memory foam that's also a bit more responsive than a Tempur-Pedic, which is kind of what we compare all memory foam beds to, I think you'll get enough pressure relief on the AS2 while having enough support for your back. Now, Amerisleep used to offer the AS2 mattress in a hybrid model. Unfortunately, they don't offer that anymore, which is kind of disappointing. You still have the hybrid options with the AS3, which I think is a great option, but it is noticeably a bit softer. So if you are more of a back or stomach sleeper, I would stick with the AS2 instead of going with the softer AS3, even though it's a hybrid. The AS2 mattress is around $1,100 after discount, which I think makes it a pretty solid value. Plus all Amerisleep beds come with free cooling covers now. And a cooling cover isn't always that important for temperature regulation, but every little bit helps to stop with those night sweats. Next up, we have our pick for the most affordable all foam mattress, and it's gonna be the Bear Original. Bear as a brand makes many, many really nice affordable mattresses, and the Bear Original is their most affordable. A queen size after discount should cost you only about 650 bucks, and it normally comes with two free pillows and sometimes some other free accessories, so you can kind of upgrade your entire sleep setup in one go. I could definitely see this being a really nice starter mattress for someone getting their life together. This bed does have three foam layers, and the top layer is more of a classic dense memory foam. You're gonna lay down on this mattress, and it's gonna feel pretty firm at first, especially if your room is really cold. Temperature of the room really affects the initial feel of a memory foam bed, interestingly enough and then you'll start to sink into the layer of foam and it will conform to your body's shape and remember it. It's kind of the hallmark of a memory foam mattress. However, on this bed, in comparison to Layla and Amerisleep, when you relieve pressure from it, it snaps back into its original shape much more slowly, which means the whole idea is you get into one really comfortable sleeping position and stay there the whole night. Memory foam beds like this can kind of deter you from tossing and turning, and some people out there really like it. Others report feeling kind of stuck in the mattress, so you kind of have to know if you like this type of memory foam feel or not if you're gonna purchase Bear. But it is around a medium firm on our scale, which means it's more geared toward back, stomach, and combo sleepers. If you're a side sleeper, you might be able to get by on it fairly comfortably, but I might look at something softer. Next up on our list, we have the Casper Original Mattress, which is just the quintessential bed-in-a-box mattress. This bed is really, really comfortable. I think the vast majority of people who try it out will like it a lot. It uses three foam layers. You have dense support foam at the bottom, a transition layer of zone support memory foam, and then the top layer is Casper's proprietary Airscape foam, which strikes a really nice balance between comfort, support, and responsiveness. I can't imagine people will dislike the feel of the Casper original, although you might be seeking out something a bit more specific. It's very nondescript in a positive way. The firmness of the Casper original is also pretty much as accommodating as its feel, around a flat medium, so it should work for back, stomach, side, and combo sleepers. A medium firmness works especially well for combo sleepers and for couples. When it comes to price, you're looking at about $1,100 after discount, which is still fairly affordable. You do have a more affordable option from Casper, just called The Casper, which is a pretty similar bed. We'll try and link that bed down below in the description. Next up on the list, we have a mattress specifically engineered to handle the needs of heavier individuals. That's the Helix Plus mattress. There are quite a few mattresses that fit in this category that are specifically designed for heavy folks. 
This one, in our opinion, is probably the most accommodating and still relatively affordable. Even before factoring in discounts, a queen size Helix Plus retails around $1,500, which is still more affordable than even discounted prices of some other beds in this category. And this bed does go on discount pretty much all the time, so really affordable option. The coils on this mattress are extra reinforced and should provide you with a lot more long-term support and durability. And it's supposed to be able to support up to two 500 pound individuals for the life of the mattress. It has more of a neutral foam feel overall that I think most people will generally like quite a bit. And you do have a new option with the Helix Plus to add a sort of pillow top design that looks very similar to the ones you find on the Helix Lux mattresses. As someone who really likes the Helix Lux mattresses, I could see this being worth it if you wanna spend up for it, but the base model should be plenty comfortable for the vast majority of people out there. This is just a nice little added luxury. Firmness is always kind of hard to dial in with mattresses like these because they are designed to be a bit firmer and heavy folks feel beds to be a bit softer. So the average size person generally feels a bed like this to be pretty firm, but if you are in the target demographic, I think the Helix Plus will come in at around a medium. Now you don't have to be a heavy person to be interested in the Helix Plus, just know that if you are not a heavy person, this bed will probably feel pretty firm to you. Next up, we have our pick for the best cooling mattress for hot sleepers, and that's gonna be the Ghostbed Lux mattress. Now there are a handful of mattresses that do use active cooling materials to help you sleep noticeably a few degrees cooler, and this one is among the best. When you touch the cover of the Ghostbed Lux, you will notice it is actively cooled to the touch. It uses phase change material in the cover, and then there's even a laminated cooling material on the very top layer of foam. So you should noticeably sleep a few degrees cooler with this mattress in comparison to other beds. You will be getting a more responsive memory foam feel on the Ghostbed Lux. It has this really nice, luxurious quilted cover situation I think a lot of people will enjoy. And it comes in somewhere between a medium and a medium firm on our firmness scale, so it should be plenty accommodating for most sleeping positions. Now, if you are looking for an active cooling mattress, but you aren't interested in the Ghostbed Lux, we should have some other options down below in the description on our best cooling beds list. Next up, we have a new mattress on this list, and that's because Purple made an entire update to their mattress lineup. We've done a ton of content about that. Make sure you take a look. But this one's gonna be the Purple Restore mattress, which is the baseline model in the Purple Premium Collection. This is one of our favorite hybrid mattresses. You use a combination of coils, transition foam, and Purple's proprietary gel flex grid to give this thing an ultra unique gel-like feel that I think a lot of people out there will really, really like. It is pretty much unlike anything I'm guessing you've ever tried on a mattress because Purple is the only brand that we've tested that uses this sort of material. This gel flex grid is made of this material called hyperelastic polymer. It's really squishy and stretchy and responsive and you kind of feel like you're floating on top of the mattress, like you're buoyant if you're on your back or your stomach. But then if you switch to your side, the material does conform to your body shape pretty nicely and gives you some cradling support. I slept on a purple mattress for a very, very long time and thought it was ultra comfortable. However, some people out there think it's just a little too different than what they're used to and don't really like it all that much. So make sure you really utilize that 100 night trial period. Now this bed actually comes in two different firmness options, which is pretty atypical from what we've seen from purple in the past. It comes in a firm model and a soft model. That firm model we have it around a medium firm, which is a great option for back, stomach, and combo sleepers. Then the soft model is actually gonna be closer to a medium in our estimation, so a better option for side sleepers in comparison to the firm model. After discounts, you're looking at somewhere between $2,100 and $2,000 for a queen size purple restore. Make sure you look down below in the description for current pricing on this mattress. And speaking of pricing, let's talk about our pick for the best affordable online mattress, and that's gonna be the Allswell mattress. Allswell as a brand is actually owned by Walmart, and in the past, you were actually able to go to the Allswell website and purchase the mattresses there. It seems like now they're shifting everything to walmart.com, so that's probably where you're gonna find this mattress. This bed is about 10 inches thick, it uses coils, which is pretty atypical in a mattress this affordable, and then it uses a layer of memory foam as its primary comfort layer, and then it has this quilted top panel, and you don't actually get that much of a memory foam feel on this mattress. In our opinion, it has more of a neutral feel overall, and I think most people find it to be fairly comfortable, again, especially considering its low price point. We have seen the price for this mattress fluctuate quite a bit. I think right now it's close to $300 for a queen, which is just a crazy affordable price point. You do have a few more premium options available from all as well, including their Lux and the Brick, and those are still pretty affordable as well, just not quite as much as the Allswell. It has a generally pretty accommodating firmness as well, and if you are on a strict budget, this is the mattress I would recommend to you the most. 
And that's gonna do it for today's best list, narrowing down all the beds you've ever tested and putting them into one just best mattresses list. It's really hard to do, but we think any one of these 10 beds is gonna be a great option for you and your online mattress search. There will also be a lot more resources down below in the description, so be sure to take a look. If you found this video helpful or interesting in any way, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But that's gonna do it for me. This is Own Seen at Home, and I'll see you in the next one.